Welcome to our video devotional for today, Thursday, April the 5th, 2018. And we've been studying and looking and examining uh, the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5 as the start of a journey on the Sermon on the Mount. Let me reread the first four verses and now verse 5 today, which we, we begin another Beatitude. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. When he was set, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Wow, as with the first two Beatitudes, uh, blessed are the poor in spirit, and blessed are those that mourn, this third Beatitude sets a definite state of mind that followers of Christ should be living by. So let's look at this. Blessed are our divine happiness belongs to the meek. What is meekness? Well, Webster defines meekness as mild and patient. Moffat's translation of the scriptures states it means to be gentle and humble. So we could use these words in rephrasing the verse to say divine happiness belongs to the mild, patient, gentle, and humble and long-suffering people. A meek person is given to forgive. A meek person takes wrongs patiently. A meek person is gentle in dealing with others and one who seeks to please the Lord. Now, oftentimes when people hear the word meek, they, they think of natural timidity or shyness and even weakness of character and and that's the picture but that's not the characteristics of which christ is speaking of here at all there's no weakness in this person who's meek pilate was baffled by the calm strength of christ when he was interrogating him before the crucifixion meekness lies in sharp contrast to the proud self-assertive pushy characters of today's world this tone of life brings denial to oneself and one's personal ambitions and desires. The meek actually have a strength of purpose, a holy courage, a teachable spirit, and self-control. To be meek really implies two very clear things. It means, first of all, to walk humbly with our God, and secondly, to yoke ourselves with, with God in Christ by serving others. In the Hebrew language, there's, there's interesting interpretation of the word meekness. It, it implies at least these things. God molded, God tamed, God trained, and God tempered. Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty nine, 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Well, Christ was all of this. He was also bold to do his Father's will. May we allow that spirit of Christ to so be in us that we're filled with the meekness of Christ as we walk out this journey. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you that your spirit your Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, is filling us with the characteristics that please the Father. Help us to be humble and lowly in spirit. Help us not to be pushy and self-assertive today as we walk out our responsibility and our desire to fulfill your will and purpose in our life. We bless you today. Heavenly Father, in Christ's name, thank you for uh, giving us the strength to live life your way. Amen. Have a blessed day.